Hey everybody and welcome to my shop. I had a fantastic, fantastic week of building stuff. Um, I made a really cool project, but when I edited the video, I realized that this video is not so much about the project. Um, it's more about the process and why I love building so much. Uh, so I decided to do things a little bit different and walk you guys through my design process and the building process in a voiceover. I hope you enjoy that. Please let me know in the comments and yeah, now enjoy the video. It all started with me wanting to make a little birthday present for my friend and scrap metal dealer, Harry. And I recently found a couple of these old metal toolboxes on his truck. So I had the idea to just make something out of those. As I mentioned in a previous video, I don't like the function in particular, but I do love the mechanism. I love how it folds open and working with it, it kind of reminded me of a cabinet. So I thought, why not turn this into a little mini bar cabinet for, for his shop? To make more room for accessories like glasses or whatever, I decided to rearrange the drawers a little bit. And at this point I, <laughs> I wasn't really sure how to continue, so I decided to start with the interior of the cabinet. And I wanted to contrast the rough and rusty look of the metal and went with this old bed frame that I had. I really liked the wood and that's the beauty of solid wood furniture. You can always turn it into something else if you don't need that piece of furniture anymore. So I had this bed frame for years and finally this seemed like a perfect project to use it for. And I still didn't know how the bar would look at the end. So I just started by cutting pieces that would fit the inside of the toolbox. And usually that's, that's how I work. Um, I don't start with a, f with a final idea in my head. I start with the materials that I want to work with. And then the first steps is always to make those materials fit each other. And that's where I am in this project right now, just cutting pieces of wood that fit into the metal box. For the main compartment, I needed to glue two pieces of wood together because the bed frame wasn't wide enough. The cool thing about that is since both pieces are cut from the same piece of wood, um, you can actually book match it. You can see how it's a mirror image. It's just a little detail nobody will ever notice, but I know it's there and I, I think it's super cool that this cabinet made of trash has book matched interior. I like that. So now that I have all my pieces cut and all my materials are ready to go, it is time to work on the layout. And Harry really likes whiskey. I don't, but it's his bar, so whiskey it is. And here I'm just placing it on the main in the main compartment and make a shelf. This is where I start. Just start with the biggest object, with the main object, and then work my way through it and just make the decisions step by step. So the first thing was this little shelf. And yeah, this cabinet, of course, will be hung on a wall probably, so it won't move around much. But since the biggest design feature is the appearance of a toolbox, I made a decision and built everything in a way so that you could still carry your bar around. So all the little shelves, um, will be designed for movement so that the, in this case, the whiskey bottle can't fall out even if you move the cabinet. And that is probably what I love most about building and designing stuff is that in the process and all the decisions you make, still respecting the rules that the objects have, like the toolbox, it's rugged, it's portable, it is made to last but the whiskey bottle is fragile and you don't want it to break. 
um, so des the design is where all of these rules meet, I think. It sounds a little abstract, but <laughs> when you're sanding uh, for hours and cutting wood for hours, you have a lot of time to think about these things. And I love to get carried away and just make the decisions up as I go um, and still respecting the objects. I think that's that's what it's all about. So the bottle fits and also when I sh when I shake it, it, it stays in place, but it's still too wobbly. So I learned from this that I needed another point of um, attachment. So I went through all my brass scraps. Uh, brass, because I, I thought it would be a great color contrast for the blue of the toolbox, like the yellowish brass and the blue toolbox looks super nice. And also brass is the coolest material to work with. And I know that Harry really likes brass because it's an expensive material and that's like, <laughs> that's, that's how he makes his money is dealing with metal. So it's, it's a luxury. proof of concept it works and now it's definitely like this bottle will not go anywhere but it's still easy enough to get it out so I was very happy with this design but I wasn't too happy with the uh, with the color I decided I wanted to change the color of the wood I decided to stain it black um, for one to to fit the label of the whiskey bottle and also to make the brass pop a little more it's just more contrast it looks it looks nicer, it looks mm, posher. <laughs> and also I, I polished the brass for the same reason, just to make it pop a little more. And then I put Harry's initials in there just to make it look super fancy. I, I think it works well. I think it looks very, very good. And it just makes me smile knowing that all of this was trash. You know, somebody threw it away and now it's it's becoming nicer and fancier with every minute of work you put into it. I just love that. That's, that's alchemy. Next up are the glasses. I know Harry likes to mix his whiskey with Coke. So um, same design decisions that I made for the whiskey bottle. I wanted to make little shelves that really hold the glasses in place. Um, in this case, I started with these little pieces that would lock the glass in place from the top because I wasn't sure how to design the shelf. At first, I thought I would cut out the footprint like with the whiskey bottle, but then I decided I want more um, details. And then something made me think of these little O-rings and how they could be used as tiny bumpers to hold the glass in place. So I put together a bunch of brass fittings and brass screws and put these little O-rings on them. And I immediately loved how it looks. It, it, it looks like a real thing. It, it looks like... It was made for that exactly. It doesn't look like random pieces fit together, put an O-ring on them. So yeah, and it works too. So I see the glass is in place and the O-ring protects the glass from the brass. It's, um, it's a good concept, I think. <laughs> and now finally, I had to build something for the Coca-Cola, just to have two bottles or um, cans actually 
on a little shelf and I decided to take advantage of the material of the can and just put little magnets in there. So I um, used the same concept, the shelf concept that I used for the glasses, also to give it more repetition. I think it looks, this design feature looks cool if it's repeated, but then have a little magnet that holds the bottle in place. <laughs> it worked surprisingly well. Then I put it all together, screwed in the, the wooden pieces. And here you can see what I meant in the beginning when I said that I need to, needed to rearrange the drawers to make more room. Because the glass and the cans, they're actually too high for um, a, a single drawer. So I needed to turn one drawer 180 degrees. There you see what I mean, to make the glasses and the cans fit. And I just added hinges with these super nice brass rivets again repeating the materials as much as I can I think that's always a good idea to repeat your choices it gives your choices more strength and here I'm contrasting everything with this bright orange shoelace because this opening mechanism is so cool and I really wanted to find a way to to keep that so I decided to build this little string contraption so that you could have a string on the bottom of the toolbox once it's on the wall and you pull on the string and it opens up. I was very, very unsure if this would work. We will find out in a couple minutes, I guess. I made this little mounting thing not only so that I could test the toolbox better and the function, here you see it. <laughs> yeah, it works. Um, but also because I don't know where Harry wants to have this in his shop. And now I'm adding the last little detail. And actually the one thing that sparked this whole idea, um, and that is, that is this neon sign. I also found this on, on Harry's tra truck, so it is his. <laughs> I just <laughs> borrowed it, but it was broken. Um, but it turned out it was just the power source that was broken. So I added a new power source and now it's working again. And this is a little brass hinge that I fabricated because the toolbox is not made to stand up vertically. It kind of wants to open. So I added this hinge so it would stay close, just so it looks nice. And here's a little brass weight on the shoelace. And now you can see how it all comes together. And the orange of the neon sign and the orange of the shoelace contrasting the blue, contrasting the black together with the brass. I'm just so, so happy with how it all came together. But this is not about me. Let's see uh, if, if Harry likes it too. So here I walk him through <laughs> how it works, how it opens up, and then finally tell him that if he ever sells it, I would get 10%. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he I think he likes it. Um, and what I love the most is that, that this is not about whiskey or a toolbox. This present is about our connection and our shared love for junk. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's my toolbox, toolbox whiskey bar. Um, again, let me know how you guys liked the voiceover thing. Um, for some reason, I never really thought about doing a voiceover in a, in a regular video. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it's fun to let you guys know a little bit of the of the behind the scenes of the design process and where I get the material from and why I chose this material. Anyway, let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. 
and I will see you next week with a new video.